Hello, and welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, hi, my name is Carrie. I'm a TV host, and I live in Kansas City, Missouri. It is the start of a brand new week. It's Monday, it's 8.30 a.m. There's already been a lot going on thus far. If you guys watched last week's vlog, then you know that I was busy last week, and this week is gonna be even busier. I am actually, exciting, I'm starting a new job as a co-host on the morning show that you guys have seen me guest co-host on before. If you watched a couple of vlogs back, I did a day in my life as a TV host and I was guest hosting on a lifestyle show on Fox 4 in Kansas City called Great Day KC. And your girl is officially the full-time co-host. So last week I was doing a lot of onboarding and a lot of learning the back end of things. And this week I am gonna be on air and gonna be introduced. And so we have a lot of promotional things that we're working through and trying to shoot to formally introduce me to the audience, even though the audience knows me a little bit because I've been on for a year plus. I've been coming on with adoptable dogs and things like that. They'll get to know me a little bit more as the co-host. So that's exciting. We do not have a show today because it is Monday. It is President's Day or Washington's birthday or some dead old white guy's birthday. And so we don't have a show today because there's some kind of college basketball tournament that's being aired on Fox at this time. So no show today, um, but we are still like pre-recording and prepping for my first official show hosting, which will be tomorrow. So a lot going on. As you can tell, hair and makeup is done, which is great. Outfit, uh, I have packed. I actually packed a couple of different outfits because like I said, we're filming a couple different things today and I just picked a couple of different options depending on what my co-host Tony is wearing. You guys will meet Tony. She's the best. She's amazing. I feel so lucky to like do this alongside her because she's just a pro and she's a nice person. More so importantly, I value now more than ever because I've had some bad experiences um, working with nice people, people who don't suck. Like it, it's, it's hard to come by sometimes these days, unfortunately. And Tony does not suck, she's great, and I think we're gonna be a great team. She's just a good person, she's good at her job, she's happy to be there, like those little things matter so much. Uh, it, it, they just do, they matter so much. So I'm really excited to be alongside of her for this and to have her as my co-host, my buddy. I'm excited that, that I get to come into her show. I mean, it's been her show for, for a while now and she's welcoming with me with open arms and I'm so excited. I have my makeup packed, a couple of outfits, a couple of shoes, lunch planner Ugh. this afternoon after we shoot some things we are going downtown to get dressed for the week there's a local boutique in kansas city in the river market neighborhood that has offered to dress us for the week which is so exciting so we're gonna go try on some things and you guys are gonna help me see what i'm gonna wear for tuesday through friday shows this coming week so lots going on um, let's not dilly-dally, let's make haste. I need to make sure the dogs get exercise before I leave. All right, I just got downtown, parked my car, and we're gonna mosey right over there. There is a little boutique down here that has offered to dress us for the week for our like intro premiere of me being the new host. So let's pop in and see what we can find. Thank you. 
I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get started on some dinner things, tings, if you will. Let's see what we got. I could eat the same thing every day for, I don't wanna say ever, but for a long time. Like, I do not need variety in my food. Like, I like what I like and I don't mind eating it over again. And one of the things that I eat repeatedly over and over again for dinner is like a vegetable stir fry of sorts. So I make like quinoa or rice, I stir fry up some vegetables, and then I put some kind of like protein on it of some sort. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. It's not flashy, but I season it, and then I put Chick-fil-A sauce on it, and it is chef's kiss. I love it. I could eat it several times a week. I do eat it like at least a couple times a week, I feel like. So I don't know. I'm just, I, I don't eat variety in my food. I just don't. So I don't know. All right, for my protein tonight, I'm gonna use these Impossible Chicken Nuggies. I love these, they're so good. I just throw a couple of these on, call it good. Spoonful of quinoa. Put that at the bottom. Then we're gonna come over here to the veggies. We're gonna top it off with the nuggies. The thing that makes everything better let's do a little drizzle oh bon appetit good morning everyone and welcome to tuesday today is a big day it's my first day on like hosting the new show co-hosting the new show the rest of the week i've just kind of been hosting segments here and there and like doing little things to like get Settled. So today is the first day that I'm hosting the show. I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous, but like good, good nervous. I don't get nervous to be on air anymore because I've, I've been doing it a while at this point, but just, it's like excitement, you know? It's just, there's a lot of feelings and I'm pumped and ready to go. I have my outfits in the car already. I am packing up my makeup. Oh my God, what? there we go. Which I will do my makeup and my hair at the studio once I get there. Um, but I am just gonna wash my face here really quick so that it's ready to go when I get there. My hair needs a cut and a color so bad. I actually have an appointment tomorrow after work, so I'm glad for that. I wish I could have got in sooner, but I couldn't, so that's what we're working with. I'm gonna bring, this is my makeup bag, I'm gonna bring that. And then, okay, so Giorgio Armani Beauty sent me a bunch of lipsticks, which is so, so kind of them. I'm so not an influencer, but <laughs> They sent me a bunch of stuff and these are all different colors. My gripe is that why are they like, why not put the colors of like the lipstick on the tube? Like these just all seem like they're the same color and they're not. So I have to like, I have to like open them up. This one's like a much lighter shade. You can see, I actually really like this one. I think I'm going to bring it today, maybe wear it. Um, and then this one is like bright red. Which is great, but like I, I don't like that all the caps are red because I have to open them up in order to see what color they are and it really throws me off. So um, that's my only gripe. Otherwise, I did wear one of these yesterday and I really, really liked it. It's got like a matte finish to it and it lasted really well throughout our filming and throughout my day. So really like, just don't like the cap situation. I think this is the one I'm gonna wear today. These are called the Lip Power Matte and this is shade 116. Y'all, it is five o'clock. 
I actually got home around like 3-ish, 3.30 um, from work and I took the dogs out, played in the yard with them for a little bit because it was like 70 degrees today, which is incredible. So I used my extra time home from work to play with them. Doogie and I went on a nice walk. It was quite lovely, honestly. And I forgot my yoga mat. <laughs> Love that for me. Um, okay, now I am on my way to a yoga class. I'm still kind of getting used to what my new workout schedule is gonna be like with this new job. Um, I'm not a huge fan of working out in the morning. Like, the people who wake up and immediately go to the gym, like, you, you're something, you're something, but I am not one of you. I'm just not, I don't love doing that. I love having my coffee, I love journaling, like that's what I wanna do first thing in the morning. I don't wanna go sweat, I just don't. I tend to be a middle of the day if I can, or like early morning, like when I had time off in between jobs, I would go to like a 9.15, 9.30 class, which is great because I wake up at like six, so I have an hour, couple hours to myself in the morning. I can drink my coffee, have a little something to eat, go to my class, and then like continue on with my day. I don't mind doing classes like this at the end of the day, but I also like don't want to leave my dogs at home for like 12 hours unattended. So if I can get out of work a little bit earlier, I think I will see myself go to a decent amount of like five o'clock classes. But if I am spending, if I'm coming straight from work, like I'm gonna go home and let my dogs out and just chill. Like that's just probably what I'm gonna do. I don't know. All that to say, we'll have to see what my new workout jesual looks like now that I have this new job. But for today, we are going to a Power 1.5 class. This is with one of my favorite teachers. Her name's Imaya. <laughs> and happy hump day. I just wanna take a minute here to brag on myself because I mean, it's my channel. I can do what I want, right? Um, yesterday, I did such an adult thing and I'm so proud of myself because it's just, it's out of the ordinary for me, okay? On my way home from yoga yesterday, the gas light came on in my car and um, hello, my name is Carrie. My toxic trait is that I don't plan ahead for things like gas, and so I wait until the light comes on, and then I'm like, shoot, I need to go get gas, like right now. And I always, 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 when that happens at night, I will be like, oh, that sounds like a problem for tomorrow. You know, I'll put it off. And then the next morning I get in my car, I forget about it, and I'm like, oh shoot, I need to stop and get gas, and then I'm late to where I'm going. But last night, it came on on my way home from yoga, and I'm like, I'ma fill her up. I'ma fill her up, because I don't want to have to deal with this in the morning. And here I am the next morning, and I feel so great about my decision. And I just want to thank past me for throwing a bone to future me because I'm so happy right now that I can just breeze to work. I don't gotta stop and get gas. I don't gotta be late. I'm just on my merry way and I got a full tank of gas. So as the prophet Snoop Dogg once wisely said, I wanna thank me for putting in the work. This ain't Texas. Ain't no hold up. Real life hold down. Don't be a bitch. Come take it to the soap now. There's a tornado. on those big goals you've set for yourself at New Year's. We've got the perfect person to get you back on track. I definitely need that. Joining us now is fitness trainer, motivational speaker, and fifth degree Taekwondo black belt, Julia Chang. Good morning, Julia. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. What's love? Yeah. You should say that so I can say that. <laughs> What's love got to do with it? One of those ways is through a little challenge, a fun family run that's coming up in yeah. June. So yeah. it's June, it's a little ways away, but. Well, but you have to start, you know, get prepared now. Get ready for it right now. Yeah, and <laughs> here to uh, get us prepared for the run, so you're 
Ready to calm the day of is Tila Maxwell of Mix Fit. Good morning. How are you? Hello. How Welcome are you? back. I just yes. Said. Yes. Loving yes. exercise and all that jazz. So yes. get it started. All right. So we're just gonna warm up a little bit. Only as music. Okay. So we can step catch. Okay. Oh. All right. We're gonna reach up. Reach it up. Okay. I can oh, do this that. is like the grocery cart. Hi. Is it cart? Right? There you go. We're gonna do some basic moves right here. So we're gonna sit down. to visiting some local hot spots and dining in. Or get involved with the family fun run this June. Got lots of time to get ready for it. For all the details, visit fox4kc.com slash love. We'll be right back. Micah, stop it. Body roll. <laughs> that Body was roll. fun. <laughs> that was <laughs> so embarrassing. That was really great. I'm 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 I have no rhythm. <sighs> Today was a day. I'll just say that. Work was great, had a great show, um, and then after that we went uh, on location to film something that's gonna be, I think, next week on the show. So we went to that, which was also great, and then I was gonna go home after that, or I was on my way home after that, and I was rear-ended, and then the person drove off. Yeah, good old-fashioned hit and run. You know, um, not so great, not so great. My back end is like kind of messed up. It's not too, too bad. I can still drive the car, which is great, but like there's definitely, he definitely got me. He definitely got me. Um, and then I was looking over, I was yielding, trying to turn right. And I was looking over this way and I was leaned over and he hit me, when he hit me, my head went forward and I hit like the plastic on the top part of my car. Um, so my eye was bleeding. And it's fine now, but it's just like, it's just kind of sore. Like I just feel like I got hit in the head with something. So that's not great. And I was on my way home so that I could let the dogs out and just rest for a little bit. And then I was supposed to have a hair appointment tonight at 4.45. So I was gonna go home, hang out with the dogs, relax, just take a load off for like two-ish hours and then head back into town for my hair appointment. Well, I got hit and then I had to file a police report. So I called 911 told them what happened they came out but it took them a while to come out um casey my husband came and met me there he was so great keeping me calm because i was just kind of annoyed um at what happened honestly and just a little disheveled so he came out and kind of handled things with the cop we got a police report and things like that but i didn't get a look at their license plate because i didn't think that they would drive away <laughs> i I have been rear-ended before and they've never driven off. So I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't thinking, oh, look at the license plate right away because they're gonna ditch you. Like I wasn't thinking that. Um, so I didn't get a license plate. I was just kind of like shocked. I don't know. I don't know what it was. So after just dealing with that for like an hour or so, I went home and I was like, I cannot fathom getting back in my car and driving downtown for a hair appointment. So. I had to cancel that and I went and sat on the couch and I was just gonna take a breath, take a deep breath, maybe read a chapter or two and then I was gonna pull up my computer because I had some script writing to do for tomorrow's show. And literally, right into sitting on the couch and relaxing, a dog comes to my door. Literally a dog just shows up at my door. Um, and I was like, hello friend. Um, and he saw me and then I got up and walked over by the door. And as soon as he saw me get up, he kind of ran away. So I kind of just collected myself, went outside. And by the time I got out there, he had like kind of ran up the street. And so I like got down on the ground and was like, hey buddy, come here, like come here. And like did the real excited. And, and I got him to come to me. I got Casey, my husband, to bring out a leash and a treat. He wasn't really interested in the treat, but I, he was interested in scratches. So I gave him scratches and I kind of looped the leash around his neck because he didn't have a collar or anything like that. So now I have a stray dog. It was almost five o'clock. So I called animal services and I was like, I found this dog, what should I do? And they're like, well, you can bring him here, but we close in five minutes. And I was like, okay. So luckily animal services was only like 10 minutes away. So they stayed open for me to bring him there. 
He did not have a collar or any kind of chip, which sucks, but the girl who checked me in said that she thinks he looks familiar, so he might be what we call in the rescue world a frequent flyer, which is a dog that shows up time and time again at animal services, which is too bad, honestly, too bad. So I either hope that his owners find him and figure out a way to keep him in their yard, or I hope he gets better owners, one or the other. But he was a beautiful husky, very sweet, very friendly. He was so happy to jump into my car and stick his head out the window on the ride. He was a happy boy, so I mean, I don't think he was bothered by, by the little field trip, the little day out. He was just roaming the neighborhood, so needless to say, it was a day for a lot of different reasons and I just wasn't up to vlogging a ton if you know what I mean. So please forgive me this will not go down as one of my best vlogging days of my career but there's always tomorrow you know there's always tomorrow. I'm ready to move on from this day I really am. Looks great. Girl, no, you, look, you look good. You look great. I changed my shoes. Cause I feel. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> He's so cute. I'm obsessed. Happy evening, friends. I am done with work, obviously, and I ran to Target. Stop. Said is friend, not food, okay? I had to run to Target to get a couple things for dinner and then something for my live shoot tomorrow. So um, that's what we did, and now we're here, and I think I'm gonna start making dinner. I'm not really that hungry yet, but I just wanna make it and be done with it. Um, Cedric says hi. Is, it, uh, is he hi? Hello. I'm gonna make some tortellini with spinach, red sauce, and then I'm also gonna make some garlic bread and some asparagus on the side. So that's what we got cooking. I'm gonna whip that up and I'm just gonna have a chill rest of the night. I'm probably gonna watch an episode or two of Love is Blind when Casey gets home because we're watching it together and just chill. I'm probably also gonna start a new book tonight because I finished Dreamland Billionaires. I finished the first one, the fine print. I think overall I liked it. I think I'm probably gonna give it 3.5 stars. I have never given a romance book five stars. Actually, I lie. I think Every Summer After is technically a romance book. I gave that five stars. But like a, a smut book, I very, very, very rarely will give five stars because it's just not my genre of like choice. But I love them as palate cleansers. They're really good palate cleansers. And for that, like a good romance slash smut book for me is like between a three and a four. Like that, that's really good for me. Like it, it's kind of mindless. It just is something I, that's quick and I, I like them for what they are. I did see and hear that it gets better as they go on. The first one's decent, the second one's better, and then the third one is the best, supposedly. So I am gonna keep reading the series. I have all of them, thanks to Brianna. So that's really all we got on the docket for the night, and I think I'm probably gonna end the vlog here as well. It's gonna be the weekend tomorrow, and I am gonna be filming some stuff this weekend. <laughs> little teaser. So. Come back, subscribe if you have not subscribed yet because I've got some animal rescue content coming, some work days in my life coming. Also, I mean, I just have so many things coming. So subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. I would love that, it would make me so happy. If you don't want to, that's okay too. Like it's your life, you can do whatever. <laughs> if you did make it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much. I'm sending you love wherever you are in the world. And I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye. Subscribe to my mom's channel, please.